But he told me at that time that he had killed a guard getting out of a prison. Here at this channel, we love to explore strange mysteries from the past before revealing the truth and solving the enigma. He knows who you are and we will find you. But the curiosities and oddities in this video are a little bit different because what we're going to explore today are those frustrating enigmas where the conclusion was never found. These are 20 unsolved mysteries that cannot be explained. Number 20. The Strange Disappearance of D.B. Cooper One of the most enduring mysteries of the late 20th century is who the heck was D.B. Cooper and where exactly did he go? In November of 1971, a man traveling as Dan Cooper would be a passenger on a flight between Portland and Seattle. After takeoff, he had handed the flight attendant a note which she didn't even look at. And so he tried again to get her attention, this time saying, Miss, you'd better look at that note. I have a bomb. The note was his demands, $200,000, four parachutes, and a fuel truck to refuel the plane in Seattle. The plane landed, the cash and parachutes duly delivered, and all of the passengers were allowed to leave the plane. Taking off on a course towards Mexico, the flight then landed in Reno to refuel, but there was no sign of Cooper. He was never heard from again. In 1980, a child in Oregon had found some of that ransom money, but an intense search of the area would uncover no fresh evidence. Then, in 2017, a parachute strap would be found at a potential landing site, and the plot does thicken. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This is Lake Hiller, an Australian lake often called the Australian Pink Lake for obvious reasons. Now, the fact the water is pink is no mystery. This is the result of an overabundance of saline. But what is an unsolved mystery is a legendary story in regards to a strange woman who was seen walking across it. For one year and one day, locals claimed that if you were awake at 4 a.m., you would see a woman in pink clothing walking across the pink water before vanishing into the distance. But after a while, she simply stopped. Who was she? What was she doing and why? Where did she go? Was she even there or were they all sharing a group hallucination? There are so many unsolved questions, it makes me want to rip my hair out. We may never know the truth. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag sweet topic in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. The Vanishing of Cynthia Anderson All the way back in 1981, Cynthia Anderson was just 20 years old and working as a legal secretary in Toledo, Ohio. She had just handed in her notice at work and was planning to head off to Bible College with her boyfriend, but she then disappeared without a trace and has never been seen again. The weird thing about the case is that before she disappeared, she had been having extremely disturbing dreams. The dreams were all about being abducted and murdered, and she had been having them for quite a while during the time before she disappeared. So, were these dreams prophetic? Did she see her own fate before it happened? Or was her disappearance down to something else altogether? Cynthia would be at work on the morning of her disappearance, but then she seems to have vanished by 10 a.m. There were no signs of struggle, but in the months and even years that would follow, various ideas would arise of what had happened, and there seemed to have been some nefarious goings-on in the office where she worked. Her employer was actually arrested in 1995 for running a drug distribution ring. This event led many to believe that that same employer had also murdered her in order to cover up the crimes, which she may have learned about. But nobody has ever been charged in connection with her disappearance. Number 18. Jack the Ripper Jack the Ripper is his identity now! Jack the Ripper is one of the most infamous and elusive serial killers in all of history. He terrorized the Whitechapel District of London in the late 19th century by committing a series of extremely violent murders. The name Jack the Ripper originated from a letter that was sent to the media in 1888 claiming to be from the murderer himself. However, the true identity of Jack the Ripper remains unknown even to this day. His reign of terror begins in 1888 with a series of gruesome murders that targeted women in impoverished areas. The victims were brutally mutilated and their bodies subjected to horrific injury. 
The killings would spark widespread panic and speculation, as the mysterious murderer seemed to vanish without a trace after each and every crime. There was a police investigation led by Inspector Frederick Aberline, but back in the day, these kind of things were even more trickier than they are now. The lack of forensic technology and the killer's ability to strike quickly and vanish in the crowded and dimly lit streets of Whitechapel had seriously hindered their progress, and naturally the case generated a lot of intense public interest, so this meant that there were a whole bunch of speculations and sensational news stories, as well as plenty of apparent hoax letters by alleged rippers to the papers and the police. People are such charmers now, aren't they? There have, in fact, been so many investigations and downright creepy obsessions with this case ever since the dreadful time itself, with various theories and suspects proposed over the years, everyone ranging from the local butcher to members of the royal family. The identity of Jack the Ripper has remained a subject of speculation and fascination for well over a century. Number 17. The Zodiac Killer but he told me at that time that he had killed a guard getting out of a prison. The Zodiac Killer is a notorious unidentified serial killer who operated in Northern California during the late 1960s and early 70s. The killer had developed their notoriety by sending a series of taunting letters and cryptograms to local newspapers and law enforcement agencies. The Zodiac's murder spree began in 1968 with the shooting death of David Faraday and Betty Lou Jensen, and subsequent attacks would occur which all had a very distinct pattern of couples being targeted. The spookiest part of the Zodiac Killer case is that the perpetrator has never been positively identified or apprehended. The killer claimed responsibility for at least five murders, but in his letters he would hint at a much higher number of victims. The Zodiac's communication with the media included cryptograms, some of which had been solved, but the true identity of the killer still remains elusive. There are some theories about his identity, but until now, the case still remains unsolved. As is standard in such matters, there's a fascination with this criminal, and there have been endless documentaries, books, and even a critically acclaimed feature film inspired by these real-life events. Number 16. The Case of Jean Benet Ramsey God knows who you are, and we will find you. This is the tragic and unsolved murder of six-year-old John Benet Ramsey in her family's home in Boulder, Colorado, December the 25th of 1996. The case was instantly a source of morbid fascination and would be subjected to the perversions of widespread media attention. Today, it still remains one of the most perplexing unsolved crimes in American history. Outside the Ramsey family, as far as suspects. The circumstances that surround her death were mysterious and extremely upsetting, so I'm not really going to elaborate here. The case would take an especially twisted turn when suspicion fell upon her parents, John and Patsy, and her nine-year-old brother, Burke. The crime scene had apparently appeared staged, and there were even ransom notes found within the house, which did nothing but add even more layers of confusion to the investigation. Sadly, despite extensive investigations, which included DNA testing, no one has ever been conclusively identified as being her killer. The case has been thwarted over and over and has been the subject of enormous speculation, conspiracy, and public fascination because the public is a bunch of ghouls. The Ramsey family has continued to maintain their innocence, and the lack of a clear resolution has just fueled a whole bunch of hypotheses and debates about the case. Even today, the Ramsey case still remains open. Number 15. The Unsolved Hinterkaffeck Murders The Hinterkaffeck Murders are a horrific story of an unsolved case that took place in Germany in 1922, leaving a rural family brutally slain on their farmstead. The victims included Andreas Gruber, his wife Cazelia, their widowed daughter Victoria, Victoria's children, and the maid Maria. The family had reported some strange occurrences in the weeks that led up to the murders. There had been unexplained footsteps in the snow and the discovery of a newspaper on the property that no one in the household claimed to have bought. On the night of March 31st of 1922, an unknown assailant, or perhaps assailants, brutally murdered all six residents with a mattock, which is a terrifying-looking farm tool that looks a bit like a pickaxe. The eerie element of the case was that the murder seemed to be premeditated, as the perpetrator had apparently been living in the house right beside the family, even though they had no idea. Then it appeared that afterwards, the killer, or killers, remained at the farm for several days, eating the family's food and tending to the animals. Despite various investigations, the murders remain unsolved, and with no clear motive or suspect identified, 
The lack of concrete evidence, combined with the mysterious circumstances and the possibility of multiple perpetrators, has turned this case into one of Germany's most disturbing and creepy unsolved mysteries. I mean, seriously, this one gives me the wiggins. Number 14. The Ghost Ship Mary Celeste one of the most enduring mysteries that remains unsolved is that of the Mary Celeste. This ship set sail from New York City in December of 1872, and 10 days later, the ship would be discovered without any signs of life on board. Nobody who was on board that fateful voyage would ever be heard from again. When the vessel would be recovered, the crew's belongings were still intact and in their quarters, and the only lifeboat was missing, and one of the ship's two pumps had been taken apart. There was not a single soul in sight, or any evidence of the fate that may have befallen them. Number 13. The Watcher House now, you may be familiar with this story already because it was dramatized and made into a limited series for Netflix. That show obviously added a whole bunch of extra bits for all the drama and sensationalism. I'm with me! I'm not the one that broke into the house and started writing the dumbwaiter lady. But it is based on a true story of a home in New Jersey, which had been at the center of a similar story. The Watcher House, located in Westfield, New Jersey, is known for its history as being the subject of a mysterious, an unsettling series of letters that were received by the Broadus family after purchasing the home in 2014. The letters, which were allegedly from an entity referred to as The Watcher, had claimed that the house had been under its surveillance for many decades and made super creepy references to the family's activities and the presence of young children. Here's a top tip. If this happens to you, don't hesitate to move. Like, really, really far away. The Broadus family were naturally rather alarmed by this, and they never moved into the house, but instead filed a lawsuit against the previous owners, claiming that they were not informed of the Watcher's presence. The case gained some media attention, and speculation would grow about the identity and motives of the so-called Watcher. The contents of the letters were very cryptic, and they suggested an unsettling level of knowledge about the family's routines and personal lives. It was intensely creepy, and despite all investigations by authorities, the identity of the Watcher remains unknown. The case of the Watcher House is still shrouded in mystery to this day. Number 12. The Mystery of the Circleville Letters the Circleville Letters mystery is about a series of threatening letters that were sent to residents of Circleville, Ohio during the late 1970s and early 80s. The letters were very menacing and detailed, featuring knowledge of the recipient's personal lives. It all began with Mary Gillespie, who had received an anonymous letter accusing her of an extramarital affair. The letters would soon escalate in intensity and became aggressive. They contained details that would suggest the sender had intimate knowledge of her activities. The mystery grew when the writer expanded to target not only Mary Gillespie, but also her husband Ron, who had eventually found himself implicated in the affair. It took a dark turn when a booby trap would be discovered on the property, which led to suspicions of a dangerous stalker. Today, the true identity of the Circleville letter writer remains unknown, as does the motives behind the campaign of harassment. Number 11. The Axeman of New Orleans The Axeman of New Orleans was a brutal serial killer who terrorized the city of New Orleans, Louisiana in the early 20th century. The Axeman targeted mostly Italian-American grocers and their families by breaking into their homes at night and then attacking people with an axe or a straight razor. Oddly, but kind of keeping in line with the sensationalism of gruesome murders that we've seen today, there was a letter purportedly written by the killer and then published in the local newspapers. In it, the Axeman claimed to be a supernatural being and declared that he would spare the lives of those playing jazz music in their homes on a designated night. The city responded by hosting widespread jazz parties, which made for a surreal atmosphere as the community tried to appease the mysterious killer. The mystery has never been solved, and although the killings did stop, the murderer's identity was never discovered. Number 10. The Mysterious Drowning of Natalie Wood when Hollywood actor Natalie Wood met a tragic and untimely ending back in 1981, it would spark a mystery that's lingered for decades. While she was on a weekend yacht trip to Catalina Island with her husband, actor Robert Wagner, and fellow actor Christopher Walken, 
She drowned under circumstances that continue to raise questions, especially amongst the more nosy and suspicious gossip mongers of Hollywood. The official account states that she accidentally slipped and fell in the water, but the circumstances that surround her death seem to be strange enough to continue to bug the heck out of people even now. ...for her to reestablish herself as a serious actress. But then again, if you die famous, and especially if you're also a victim of a tragedy, then your death will forever be interesting to the vultures. Resting in peace is rarely an option for the well-known. The investigation was actually reopened in 2011 and brought to light that there were conflicting accounts and also lingering doubts about the events on the yacht. The captain of the boat has altered his initial statements, and Wood's death certificate was amended to include drowning and other undetermined factors. So the mystery rumbles on. Number 9. The Gardner Museum Heist Back in 1990, two thieves disguised as police officers broke into the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston, Massachusetts, and stole no less than 13 works of art with an estimated value of $500 million. To this day, the case remains unsolved, and there's never been any arrests. There's still an active $10 million reward for any information that leads to the recovery of the stolen artworks. Amongst the pilfered paintings were works by Vermeer, Rembrandt, Degas, and Manet, and although there's been an ongoing FBI investigation, very little is known about what actually happened. There's next to no physical evidence, but the information that has been gleaned through interrogations has led the investigation to focus primarily on the Boston Mafia as a possible perpetrator. Number 8. The Disappearance of Jimmy Hoffa the disappearance of Jimmy Hoffa has remained one of the most enduring mysteries in American history. Hoffa had led the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, which was one of the nation's largest and most powerful labor unions, from 1957 to 1971. His leadership style and alleged ties to organized crime had made him a fairly controversial figure, but it was his mysterious vanishing that would cement Hoffa in the history books. On July the 30th of 1975, Hoffa vanished without a trace from a parking lot of the Red Fox restaurant in Bloomfield Township, Michigan. It's gone by. I think that uh, it's clear that my father has been assassinated. There are, of course, tons of theories about what happened. Many of these would suggest he had been the victim of a mob hit, possibly due to power struggles within the Teamsters or his refusal to align with the Mafia's interests. Even though a lot of investigations and searches have been conducted over the years, his fate remains unknown. Some of the theories include the idea that he was buried under giant stadium. Others would reckon that he was disposed of in a Florida swamp. Theories abound, but none have ever conclusively been proven. Then, in 1982, he was declared legally dead, but the question of what happened to him still persists. Number 7. The Creepy Murder in Room 1046 the creepy murder in room 1046 refers to an unsolved murder case at the Hotel President in Kansas City, Missouri, all the way back in 1935. The victim was an unidentified young man who had registered at the hotel using the name Roland T. Owen. On January the 2nd, hotel staff would discover the man they knew as Owen brutally beaten and bound in room 1046. He had been repeatedly stabbed, and his head was covered with a dark green robe and despite all the injuries, he was conscious and refused medical help, insisting that he had simply fallen against the bathtub. He also apparently mentioned having two visitors earlier, but their identities were never established, which is weird. To add to the mystery, he checked into the hotel without any luggage and paid for his room in cash. But it was 1935, so he wouldn't have exactly had to have had a credit card or even had one in the first place. When he was asked about his lack of belongings, he claimed to be in transit and awaiting a friend. Later that evening, phone calls from Owen's room would raise suspicions because apparently there were calls from an unnamed woman who was asking for him. The next morning, hotel staff would discover him dead in his room. Authorities found bizarre clues, which included a cryptic note that read, Don, I will be back in 15 minutes, wait, and the room's phone was ripped out of the wall. The murder in room 1046 remains unsolved and continues to get people into a tizzy as they try to make sense of all the weirdness. Number 6 the Lost Colony of Roanoke 
In the late 16th century, a bunch of English settlers established a colony on Roanoke Island, which is just off the coast of present-day North Carolina. Under the leadership of a man named John White, the group of people set to establish a permanent settlement in the New World, but it didn't really go according to plan. In 1587, when he returned to England for additional supplies, which included food, John White was detained for several years due to England's war with Spain. And when he did finally return to the island, stuff had really kind of changed. He went back in 1590 and would be met with a chilling scene. The settlement had become completely abandoned. The only clue was the word Croatoan carved into a post and crow etched into a nearby tree. This mysterious disappearance gave rise to numerous theories and legends. One such was that the colonists had assimilated with local Native American tribes such as the Croatan or Croatoan. This possibility is supported by historical records and later accounts of natives with European features and customs. Another theory is that they suffered from hunger, illness, and possibly attacks by hostile Native American tribes which led to their demise. Frankly, many of the early European colonists were pretty useless at keeping themselves alive when they arrived in America, and it would not be uncommon for most of them to succumb to sickness or starvation, given the fact that they often arrived without adequate supplies or even knowledge enough to provide their essential requirements to stay alive. But, you know, who really knows? Number 5. The O.J. Simpson Case The O.J. Simpson case is still one of the most sensational trials in all of American history, taking place between 1994 and 1995, and caught up in what seemed like everyone in the entire country in the controversy as it brought to light the long-festering issues of race, celebrity, and the legal system in the United States. And so what happened to lead up to the trial of the century? Well, on June the 12th of 1994, Nicole Brown Simpson, O.J. Simpson's ex-wife, and her friend Ronald Goldman were found brutally murdered outside of her Los Angeles home. At that point, O.J., who's a former NFL star and actor, quickly became the prime suspect. The subsequent trial featured a so-called dream team of defense attorneys, which included Johnny Cochran, F. Lee Bailey, and Robert Shapiro. Prosecution, which was led by Marsha Clark and Christopher Darden, faced challenges in presenting evidence, and of course, it became an all-out media circus. The case takes a dramatic turn when O.J. Simpson's defense introduces the notion of a racially biased police force and a conspiracy against him. This was a significant moment in American history, let alone for the trial itself. The trial's biggest visual event came with the infamous glove demonstration, in which Simpson had struggled to put on a glove that was allegedly worn by the murderer. Dun, dun, dun! Then in October of 1995, the jury acquitted O.J. of all criminal charges. It had been a huge hoo-ha all the way through, but the verdict really polarized public opinion and opened up a can of worms in regards to questions about the justice system and the issues of racial bias. In 1997, however, a civil jury would find Simpson liable for the deaths in a wrongful death lawsuit that was filed by the victim's families. It was all completely bananas, and although it is in this list of mysteries, we all kind of know what happened now, don't we? Number 4. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 Disappearance On March the 8th of 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 vanished during its journey from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. The Boeing 777 lost contact with air traffic control over the South China Sea approximately 38 minutes after takeoff. The flight ultimately went out of radar range northwest of Penang Island, Malaysia. Tragically, all 227 passengers, along with 12 crew members on board, were presumed dead. The incident had marked the deadliest occurrence that involved a Boeing 777 and the deadliest in Malaysia Airlines history until Flight 17 would be shot down over eastern Ukraine four months later. Number 3. The Unexplained Phoenix Lights Finally, we have a mystery that could be aliens. I know, if you're here for the UFOs, we've really kept you waiting, haven't we? Without further ado, allow me to take a proper look at these lovely extraterrestrials. These are the Phoenix Lights, which are an unexplained phenomenon that occurred in March of 1997 in Arizona, it's one of the most famous and widely witnessed UFO sightings in modern history. Thousands of people reported seeing a formation of lights that were moving silently across the night sky, and even though they said it was unexplained, we do know the truth now, don't we? 
The incident unfolded in two parts, the first being a series of stationary lights that were seen over Phoenix around 7.30 p.m. that evening. Witnesses would describe a triangular shape made by the lights, and some even said they saw a massive V-shaped spacecraft. The second part occurred later in the evening, when another series of lights were reported to be moving across the state from northwestern to southeastern Arizona. Almost definitely aliens, I would say. But the official so-called explanation that was provided by the military and the government was really super boring. They said the lights were flares that had been dropped during a training exercise at the Barry Goldwater Range. However, this explanation has been met with some skepticism because of the weird nature of the sightings and the formation of the lights, as was reported by multiple witnesses. But what do you think about it all? Is it finally proof of aliens, or just a boring old training exercise like the government wants you to believe? Let's have a proper discussion in the comments section down below. Number 2. The Shepard Murder Case The Shepard Murder Case refers to the highly publicized trial of Dr. Sam Shepard, an osteopathic physician who was accused of murdering his pregnant wife Marilyn in their Ohio home in 1954. The events are said to have gone as follows. On July the 4th of 1954, Marilyn Shepard was found bludgeoned to death in her bedroom. The good doctor maintained that he had been sleeping on the couch and went on to describe a struggle with what he called a bushy-haired intruder. The media coverage would be intense, and the prosecution argued that Shepard's story was inconsistent and that he had a motive for the murder. There were a lot of other weird and complex details that also made it seem likely that the doctor was guilty. In 1954, he was indeed convicted of second-degree murder and then sentenced to life in prison. However, the case never truly went away, and appeal after appeal trundled on so that in 66, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously overturned his conviction, citing pervasive pretrial publicity and a biased trial atmosphere that would deny him a fair hearing. He would then be subsequently retried and found innocent. The Shepard case was very important in shaping the legal standards for fair trials amidst intense media scrutiny, and also inspired the television series and film The Fugitive. Despite the acquittal, the case left enduring questions about the true identity of Marilyn Shepard's killer and has never been solved, unless of course it was the doctor all along. Number 1. The Pollock Sisters This is the strange case of Jillian and Jennifer Pollock. Their family had suffered a terrible tragedy before the twins were born when their young daughters Joanna and Jacqueline were killed in a car accident in 1957. A year later, the Pollock sisters would be born, and as the twins grew older, they began claiming memories of a past life as Joanna and Jacqueline displaying detailed knowledge about the deceased sisters' lives and events. The Pollock sisters had behaviors and characteristics that were eerily similar to their late sisters, and they even expressed a desire to visit a park that their deceased siblings used to frequent. The case gained a lot of publicity when the story was featured in newspapers and on live television. While some have found the Pollock sisters' case suggests reincarnation, skeptics would argue that the twins may have picked up details about their sisters through overheard conversations or family discussion. Even so, the story has gotten a lot of people scratching their heads and wondering for decades ever since. Well, that was all very mysterious. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Check out the other things on the screen, and I'll see you next time.